surviving for an introvert it's really tough because in our world today all you need to do is to sleep Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're Karibu Sana. Hi guys, Karibu. I really missed you a lot. Like, oh I missed you guys and uh I know I missed you too. So I'll explain to you later as to why have been here for so long. Because it's a story on its own. Yeah, anyways, I'm back alive kicking and uh, ready to do it again. Let's give another try. And hope this time it's gonna be fruitful than before. Anyways, if you're new to this channel, Karibu Sana, hit the bell icon and consider clicking on the hit the subscribe button and consider clicking on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Hey you, welcome back. <laughs> Anyways, on today's video, I don't know. Whew, I'm so nervous to do this, but we have to do it. He's an introvert. I know that's what you're asking yourself. Like, who the hell? Who the hell? Who the hell are introverts? Yeah, who the hell are introverts? Introverts are people. Okay, introverts are people. Introversion is the tendency of a person minding his or her own feelings considers herself separate from the others a person who neglects herself and that person does not neglect herself herself willingly or that person doesn't mind even if you care about even if you think negative about a character i think that's it actually i'm an introvert i'm not sure to say that i'm not afraid to say that but I'm an introvert and it has really, really affected me for 21 good years. I feel that if I could not have been an introvert, so many things in my life could have been different. And uh, I do regret that at some point. But introversion is something that you're born with. You cannot ignore it or you cannot brush it off that easily, you know. So... Alhamdulillah for everything. I cannot say that. Why did God do that? Why did God bring me to there? I don't know. Anyway, so it was a real struggle and it's really e okay. What am I saying? It's still a struggle till now. Like I'm still struggling with introversion. Like uh, introverts are real. Introverts are still there. I still are. Uh, I still out there and surviving for an introvert it's really tough because in our world today all you need to do is to speak all you need to do is to face someone and say that I want to do this I love doing this I'm doing this and that like in today's world you just have to express yourself to get what you need and it's really hard for introverts yeah it's hard like, how do you expect an introvert to talk? Like, how do you expect an introvert to ask you a question? Like, to tell you to express what she feels, what he feels? It's what up. So, before I speed some of the struggles or some of the points that I'm about to tell you today, let's get direct into the video. Yeah, so on to my first point. Introverts are underestimated underestimated let me give you some of the points introverts are less talkative introverts are very boring introverts are very 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 upset minded i can say that like you might be thinking that you are with someone speaking but maybe she's thinking of something else introverts are very shy introverts have all the boring qualities that is what you can say so as I being an introvert, I've really, really, really lost a lot of friends. I've really, really lost a lot of chances that were expecting me to speak or expecting me to be myself, myself, to which I didn't. So introverts, a 
okay introversion has led me to i think to be on my own like it has led me to tackle all my problems on my own it reached a point i cannot follow my own mom and tell her okay have this problem and this problem but i don't know how to solve it i used to tackle all the problem of life on my own and that doesn't mean to this point i still tackle my own problems or i don't tackle my own problems we'll come to that and i'll tell you later as in how i'm continuing with my introversion or or how where has introversion led me to or how or what are my proceedings you get so we are underestimated because we cannot express ourselves you cannot tell someone like this is wrong and this is right or i think while we are debating maybe on something we cannot say that this is the right point because it helps in a b and c and d no we don't do that we just keep quiet and swallow our own points or our own answers or our own preferences and at the end of the day someone thinks that she doesn't know anything she's just there she's just no one anyway introverts are good people and most of the people or most of introverts imagine are the brave people in the world introverts are junior sales if you don't know introverts are junior sales because they do have the real answer and imagine they can express the answer on paper when they can express the answer when they were they are just by themselves like for me i usually feel good when i talk to the camera because there is no one around i'm all alone on the phone the phone won't judge me that's the point let's get into the next question before i talk and talk and talk For an introvert to start a conversation is usually hard. 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 So, I think saying hard is underestimating the point. But for an introvert to start a conversation with anyone, it's impossible. Totally impossible. Like, hey, an introvert will be like, okay, why should I start a conversation? This person will think that I'm awkward. Awkward. that's a dialogue inside her mind and maybe that person won't think that way of her but she thinks that that person will think that's why i told you introverts are geniuses they know even what the other person is going to think next <laughs> okay we'll be like we should let's start this conversation well, what will that person think of me like what if if i start this conversation and at the middle of the conversation i get out of point like there is usually that dialogue in her and that dialogue itself lowers her self-esteem lowers her courageousness lowers her confidence and at the end of the day she doesn't start the dialogue that's it we are so quiet we love being ourselves and our own we love staying with our own truth and everything you just need to live live like you just need to live that place like you're very very much uncomfortable and that's it that's it baby don't be shy just live live go to where you're comfortable with introverts don't love crowds like we don't love crowds i remember i think that some of the stages in my life have passed because It's on a weekend it's saturday on a weekend every girl at my age maybe is going out on a party maybe is going out with her boyfriend or maybe is going out with her gang the crowd but there is me at home sophie can we go out on a, on a saturday i like i have a plan me, I'll be like, okay, we will go. Which Saturday are you talking about? Next Saturday or this Saturday? We'll converse and at the end of the day when it reaches on a Saturday, it's either I switch off my phone or I find a bed and sleep. Or, and imagine I'm that comfortable. I really don't care whether you went to a party, whether during the party time you won a hundred million. I really don't care. I'm really, really comfortable on my bed and with my own person 
I have so many friends that have let down several times. Like, I just keep dating them, having not really dating them. I just keep keep on giving them debts, telling them that you're going to do it on this day, you're going to do it tomorrow, you're going to do it on next Saturday. Nothing happens. We really, really, really need to live and not later, like right now. We don't love crowds, we love our own company. I'm not afraid to say that I'm an introvert and that's how we are. You avoid people, even the ones you know, and that's true. As I told you earlier, like it reached a time I used to avoid my own mom. I used to avoid my own brother, like I just made my company. You know, I cannot even, okay, hey, I could not even do anything stupid in front of my mom or my brother because I'm not comfortable. The shyness in me has overtaken everything. Like, I don't know, but we avoid everyone, even the closest people we have, we avoid them. We just love being on our own corner of the world, on our own side of the world, just us introverts. Are introverts, introverts are real. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You agree to things that you don't know or you agree to things that you don't want to do. And that's normal. That's what we do, by the way. We actually do that mainly to avoid conversations or to avoid explaining yourself much so when you're told sophie you're going to pick someone at maybe it's a kilometer to walk and there is no fear or there is no anything you'll just say yes i'll do it just to avoid the conversation between you and the second person you just want it to end. You get me? Like, introverts don't love conversing. What are we conversing about? So, it's just short and clear. Sophie, you are going to cook 1000 kgs of rice. Yes. Over. But, like, you just agree to things even think some things you don't know how to do them but you are there like yes yes sir i'll do it i remember when i was in high school yeah i used not to talk as in i used to be on my own side of life and that doesn't mean i used to fail like i used to be maybe danda in classes like i used not to get things maybe i'm shy i don't express myself no i used to crush the papers crush everything but no no why should they have a third a third party or a second party in my life i'm so much comfortable on my own introversion is real another struggle is your body gives away your shyness that's real that's totally real because I remember there was a time in high school i'll explain everything in high school because i was in a boarding school and uh, that is where i discovered my introversion in a very very high part because i think that's where i discovered who i am because i used to live with people i don't know different families different different kind of behaviors different people yeah so I think all the examples will come from there. So, I got elected to vie for academic secretary. And uh, I really, until now, I cannot talk to crowds. Till now, at this age, I cannot talk to crowds. And while I was elected after the, um, the election passed, everything, I got the seat. As an academic secretary, imagine I was in Form 3, but still I could not face a crowd. So, during the first day of my seat, I was in of my duty, I was asked to go in front and, uh, and begin the meeting, like begin the parade. Imagine my class teacher was just standing next to me, but the person in front there was calling Sophia Fadil come in front academic secretary where are you come on the front come on the front 
I did not go anywhere. I was even pleading with the teacher standing next to me like, Sir, don't tell them I'm here, sir, please. Almost crying, shaking. Shaking. It's in a serious shake. That means I was very, very uncomfortable with facing the crowd. Leave that story alone. Another story. Before I got elected, there was that you go campaign for yourself. So while I was doing my campaigns, I was called at the front to say where I am, which class I'm from, what am I, what do I want, and what will I do for the people. I gave myself courage. Like I made myself very courageous and I went to the front. Like I said, I have to do this. So many challenges have passed just because of my introversion. I've really locked myself up. I want to get out of this comfort zone. So let me go do this. I remember I went at the front with all my courage, confidence. I faced the crowd and I started the talk. I talked like some several sentences and all of a sudden there, boom. Voice started cracking. I started shaking as in until I even got embarrassed because I didn't know what I'm saying anymore. Like, I reached a point, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm confusing the words. That was all happening because of shyness. Like, it's real shyness, guys. People misunderstand your intentions. And that's true. Not arguable. It's not arguable, Kapsa. That's very true. People tend to understand your intentions. Like, I remember I was in Form 1. Actually, I got famous in Form 1 in my high school. If not Form 1, I don't know whether Form 2. Because I used to be on my own. I used to do things on my style, as in per my own way. I'm beautiful. I don't really, really debate on that. But people used to say that girl is, as in pretends to be classy, pretends to be more special than the others. And to a sense is, I cannot talk to you, as in I cannot see you and say hi because I'm not comfortable with that. But people didn't understand that at all. People thought that you, are so, you think that you're so special than the others, you think that you don't belong here, then why was I brought here if I don't belong here? I belong here, but I don't know where to start. I'm not used to talk, just like how you're used to. I'm the only girl in my family. I don't talk to anyone. I don't have any person who will make me talk the whole day. You understand? But people really, really misunderstood me. Until today, most of people really, really misunderstand me because I just love being on my own, but at least have up upgraded or at least have learned different things and at least now I can talk. I can converse with someone. I can share something, but I'm not that talkative, just like an extrovert. But before and now, I really appreciate my proceedings. And I know that I'll get somewhere more special or more higher. Because trust me, sometimes introversion is not a good thing. It really, really denies you most of the things. It's good to be shy, but your level of shyness needs to decrease. Girl, this life with shyness doesn't take you anywhere. This life with low confidence doesn't take you anywhere. This life with less courage doesn't take you anywhere you need to have all those qualities to be that woman you admire to be you aspire to be that woman you dream of being you understand so collect yourself together try each and every day collecting one piece of yourself and at the end of the day you're gonna get there introversion is not a good thing trust me it's not it's not a good thing at all so if you really loved this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it to your friends, family, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, your stepmom, whoever you wish to. Share it. And uh, make sure you value your introverts' families or introverts' relatives and try to understand them. 
and help them evolve. Bye. See you next time. I love you.